Welcome back, everybody. Happy Tuesday. How's everybody doing? All right. Everybody saw the eclipse yesterday. Was that awesome or was that awesome? Like, that was like, I had expectations. I've never been in a, uh, a total, like, uh, totality of that. That was cool. Like, it got colder. It got dark. Um, that was just, that was awesome. Hopefully, everybody had um, a, a great time watching that. And then, uh, looking at it with our glasses, uh, that was just, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, maybe last night, uh, not so awesome. Uh, that's all right, though. Uh, for some of us that root for this team back here, a uh, heck of a run. I was super, super into that. All right, so um, come back from uh, spring break. We need to make sure that we are understanding, number one, we have seven weeks left. Number two, I learned next week. I learn is next starts next Monday. Number three, like some of us have not been around rules. None of us have been around rules for a week. Teachers, anybody has not been around rules and and things like that. So uh, maybe make sure that we're 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 holding those accountable. Uh, hold and and make sure we're watching the the expectation part um, uh, of announcements today. Just make sure, hey, listen, this is what we do. Uh, teachers, make sure you want to go over. Uh, your expectations today and tomorrow. Today's a white day. Yesterday was like a, a blank day. Okay, so we didn't really have, like, we had some e-learning stuff. I know some of you came in and got, like, picked up uh, an extra packet, picked up glasses. Those packets, you just give the paper, uh, whatever you're working on, uh, to your teacher. Um, all those should be turned in. Uh, no later than Friday of this week, but make sure you bring them back and give them to the teachers, and then teachers will uh, put them in the grade book. All right, so um, like I said, uh, everybody back from spring break. Everybody back from um, is ready to hit and finish strong. So we've got this last seven weeks. We've got I learn. We've got some um, different things going on. We've got a reading challenge going on uh, to make sure you have a book for after I learn because I know some of you can do get done early. All we can do is read, get done early, but take your time on that. There's not a like thing that like we're gonna finish quick and then. Um, get not no. Why don't you take your time on on I learn again? Nothing on I learn is going to be anything new to you. All right, that's a big thing too. Uh, coming up, nothing's new. And this week we're going to have an advisory every day. And so on the advisory on Thursday and Friday, we'll be talking about where you're going uh, for the I learn locations. A lot of you will be in your advisories. Okay, a lot of you will be in advisories, uh, but some of you might be other places. And so on that. Uh, that's where we've got to make sure that you're knowing where you're going. All right, so let's get to our announcements. All right, today is Tuesday, April the 9th, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Wesley Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The mission of Wesley Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. Believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and grow. All right, let's make sure we're Wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and IDs are around our necks. Binders and student organizers are with us. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. Blankets stay at home. All right, today's a white day with advisory, which means we have block advisory, then block six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, the Great Escape Reading Challenge, April 8th. That's it. That's yesterday through May 10th. Prizes for the top 10 readers in each grade level and the top ELA class. Make sure you have a book to read after testing. Reading can be a great escape. Books and stories can transport you to a completely different place. As you read, you might discover new things about your uh, new things, ideas, and perspectives along the way. You may even learn more about yourself. Log your minutes and escape into the world of reading. Again, too, don't forget, remember that part of that reading trailblazer, we actually got a $150 gift card, so some of you who are winning will actually get part of that will go to you as top 10 readers and of course the grade level with the highest minutes of reading if you are sixth grade you will get uh we'll give you like uh drinks and um ice cream seventh same for seventh grade and then eighth grade uh you will get ice cream if you finish first i'd be interested to see if eighth grade can finish first they finish strong the last reading challenge uh, but let's make sure we don't get in a, in a way that we're like kind of lazying up. Make sure we're doing that and finishing strong with the reading challenge as well. 
All right, Advanced Choir Bluettes Audition. Make sure you sign up outside the choir room. Uh, that is going to be uh, April 10th or 11th for the dance audition. Vocal auditions for by appointments. And so that is coming up tomorrow and Thursday. All right, I learned, like I said, like this week, uh, you'll be doing, um, you'll, be, you'll be running over like how the I learn works, practice tests in math and, and ELA classes, English classes. You're still going to do the practice test next week officially. We're going to go in our spaces so your proctors can understand what the practice test looks like and what and how you're going to work with um, your location areas. Again, this test, nothing you is nothing you haven't already seen in class. Nothing's going to be asked on here. They're not going to ask about um, not going to ask about, you know, the first state capital of of uh, of Ohio and what happened in, on like a date in 1987 all right they don't ask that this is based this is a skill based test and i and you all can be do very well on that uh, make sure for english you're still working on ixl diagnostic a lot of you would have been undiagnosed over break uh seventh grade uh still on the lead there with about 80 percent uh so let's make sure we keep a diagnostic learning first to 100 percent all right don't forget the Purdue bug bowl uh, we have seven slots left, but you have to bring your ten dollars in. If you have not, also if you signed up online and have not brought your money in yet, and we'll get to you. We'll communicate with you this week. You need to bring your ten dollars in as well. Most people have, uh, but we will um, need to have that. And the weather is going to be awesome. It's going to be sixty-three and uh, sunny, clear skies for this. Uh, so it's going to be a fun time um, up at Purdue. All right, don't forget. Uh, Student Council, your next meeting is next Tuesday, April the 16th. Wildcat Focus, writing in your student organizer every class. Being on time to every class. Your first effort being your best effort every class. And again, every task, goal, race, and year comes to an end. Therefore, make it a habit to finish strong. All right, let's make sure we clean up West Lane. As you know, if you can see, a lot of the floors got uh, shine and waxed over break. Let's make sure we keep them clean by throwing away trashes in our hallways and restrooms, and make sure we keep the classrooms neat and tidy. All right, let's also make sure we wash our hands for 20 seconds after we uh, eat or go to the bathroom. That is going to help prevent the spread of cold, cough, and flu. All right, make sure you keep your hands off each other. Our hands are keeping to ourselves. Uh, sixth grade students, make sure you're not in the seventh or eighth grade hallway. There's no reason for you to be in there unless you have a class. Uh, cafeteria, make sure we're sitting on the correct tables and facing the center. Stay in your seat and have your ID. And also, when you're coming back from lunch, stay with your seat until your class is called. Walk back with your teacher. Don't forget the bell does not dismiss you from class. Your teacher does. And I don't want to see anybody lining up in the hallway or lining up before the bell rings. You are leaving on that third bell, on the third ding, at the earliest. Breakfast students, you must report directly out of the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. And then once you're in there and you're eating, all food should be eaten in the cafetorium. No food should be eaten outside the cafetorium. That means if we bring chips or whatever else, we should not be eating chips in the hallway. That's how we make messes. Restroom privacy. Make sure you're giving students using the restroom appropriate privacy. And restroom breaks are scheduled, but if it's up to the teacher, if the class is ready to take one. And it's a big one. I know we've had cell phones constantly from uh, the moment you guys left on Friday for break to the moment you got back in here today. But all cell phones are in your locker between 925 and 425. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. Talk to people today. Work in your class. Have some authentic interaction. Uh, away from your phones. And never forget our motto, Cata Wildcat, Cata Dia Mayora, which means every Wildcat every day gets better. Have a terrific Tuesday, everybody. We will see you throughout the building.